the relation between contract of carriage by sea and bill of landing. A contract of carriage may be defined as an agreement that is concluded between a carrier and a shipper for the carriage of goods by sea in which a carrier, against the payment of freight, undertakes to deliver goods from one port to another. While concluding a contract of carriage, the negotiations are made by the shipper and the carrier and the term and condition are established by the above-mentioned parties. In general, the contract of carriage is executed with the carrier by either the seller or the purchaser depending on the term of the sale agreement. However, in maritime trade, at time the contract of carriage provides a clause that the shipment shall be subject to the term and condition of the bill of lading, a document which is issued unitarily at the later stage by the carrier. On the other hand, some bills of lading refer to the contract of carriage for the term and condition. Therefore, it is crucial to understand the relation between contract of carriage and bills of lading and the effect of these two documents on the parties to be the carriage. Bill of lading A bill of lading BL, is a bill which is issued by the carrier or by the captain representing the carrier setting forth the details the type, quantity, and designation of the goods being carried. In maritime law, PL has three primary functions. It serves as the receipt of the cargo by the carrier, it proves the conclusion of a transport contract, and function as a document of title. Receipt of cargo the PL function as a receipt between of the cargo by the carrier. Once the PL is issued by the carrier, it serves as a receipt that the good have been received by the carrier as per the contract for carriage, and that the good have been received in good condition. Document of Title As a transferable document, BL represent a document of title, meaning that whoever is the holder of BL, the consignee in general, hold title to the good. In this respect, the holder of the BL has the right to claim the good from the carrier and the carrier is obliged to deliver the good to the holder of the BL upon presentation of the same. The good are delivered in return from the copy of the BL that includes the annotation about delivery of the good. Evidence of Contract of Carriage The BL serve as evidence for the carriage contract containing the term and condition under which the transportation of the good will be carried out. The BL also serve as proof of the carrier as per Article 1238 of the Turkish Commercial Code TCC, the person signing the BL in his capacity as the carrier or in whose name and on behalf the bill of lading is signed shall be deemed the carrier. Type of Contract of Carriage Under Turkish law, two type of contract of carriage are recognized under which the carrier, concerning the freight, undertake to carry the goods, those being foyage, charter contract, and contract in shipping liner trade. The relation between contract of carriage and bill of lading. As per Article 1237 of the TCC, the bill of lading governs the legal relation between the carrier and the holder of the bill of lading. This means that the third-party holder of the bill of lading is only bound by the content of the bill of the lading, and the term and condition provided in the carriage of the contract are not applicable to the holder of the bill of lading. On the other hand, the relation between the carrier and the charterer are governed by the provision of the contract of carriage. As per Article 1237 of the TCC, where there is a reference in the PL as the voyage charter party, a copy of that charter party being a contract of carriage shall be represented in the event of endorsement of the bill of lending to the new holder. In such case, the provision set forth in the charter party may be pursued against the holder of the PL, where the nature of such provision allows. In other words, the charter party should be attached to the BL and it should be presented to the holder of the BL. 
In a dispute where this issue is discussed, the Court of Cassation held that unless the contract of carriage is represented to the holder of the BL, the provision set forth in contract of carriage shall not bind the holder of the BL. The subject of the dispute derived from the goods that were damaged during sea carriage. The consignee as holder of BL filed a lawsuit before the Turkish court against the carrier for compensation of the damage that occurred to the goods. The carrier argued that the claim should be rejected based on the fact that the arbitration clause set forth in the contract of carriage concluded between the shipper and the carrier as well as the provision of the contract of carriage are binding upon the holder of the BL. As there is a reference to the provision of the charter party in the BL, the court of Virgin Stan accepted the carrier's argument and found that the consignee, the holder of BL, is bound by the provision of the charter party, as there is a reference in the BL as to the charter party clauses. The Court of Cassation, reviewing the case Upen Appeal of the Consignee, overruled the decision of the first instance court stating that the provision of the charter party pins the consignee, where the nature of such provision allows only if a copy of the charter party is also presented to the holder of the BL, along with the BL itself, in accordance with the Article 1237 of the TCZ. The Court of Cassation further stated that the burden of proof that the charter party has been presented to the consignee is on the carrier, and the carrier failed to prove that the charter party was presented to be the holder of the BL. In another case that was subject to a decision dated 2017 on the 11th Civil Chamber of the Court of Cassation, a lawsuit was filed before the Turkish court against a carrier by the insurer that compensated the loss of it insured with regard to the good that were found to be deficient at the port of arrival. The clause provided in the charter party and that there is a reference to the charter party in the BL that was held by the insured. Therefore, the insured as the holder of the BL is bound by the arbitration clause provided in the charter party. The court of first instance dismissed the cause due to the existence of the arbitration agreement. However, the Court of Cassation overruled the decision of the first instance court on the basis that the court of the first instance failed to review whether the conditions stipulated in Article 1237 of TCC had been met. The relation between the contract of carriage and the BL become an issue at time when there is a reference in one to the other. The TCC clearly set forth that the provision of a contract of carriage where the nature of such provision so allows may only be binding on the other of BL if a copy of the contract of carriage is represented to the holder of the BL. Thank you.